All right, everybody. Uh, this is Carl, and uh, we're here on the beach, uh, kind of between Grover and Pismo, and I uh, just noticed that he was doing these nice carvings. I've seen some other ones that he's done, and uh, he was, did you work on this one today? Yeah, just did it. Just yeah, cool. Um, so he's sitting next to it, so you get an idea of the scale. Now, the reason I wanted to take a video of this with Carl is because he said something that just blew me away. He he was telling me that he draws. He's been drawing. How, when did you start drawing, Carl? Since fifth grade. Since fifth grade, okay. So he's been an artist since fifth grade. However, I said, okay, cool. And I saw his, you know, sculpture here. I said, how long have you been carving sculpting? How long? And I'll let him tell you. Three how, weeks. That's it. Dude, this is insane, bro. My friend says wanted to try something new, and uh, I gave it a shot. And now I'm like, I'm stuck. I'm hooked on it. I can't stop. Who encouraged you to do that? A friend of mine. His name's Larry. What? What, what do you? Did it just kind of off goes, out of the blue? Well, he wanted me to do a bicycle, and bicycles are hard to do in sand. There's no way I'm gonna, you know, make a 3D bicycle. But, oh, by the way, I gotta get a shot of your bike. Did you build that bike? Yes. Dude, <laughs> those are a trip. The one that hooked me. I'm stuck on the I had one that sat at 12 feet. Dude, so okay, so three weeks ago you decided, and like, did it just feel natural or what? No, oh, at first, you know, the, the air and everything dries everything out so fast, you gotta keep throwing buckets. Oh. And I don't have a pump sprayer, and I'm just like, okay, so if something falls, I'll just change it up. It has fresh dry sand, but except when a wheel falls off, you, know, you can't put fresh dry sand to a wheel. You were mentioning to me, so you started working on this this morning, and then the wheel came off. I probably, I probably have been there approximately maybe an hour and a half. Well, well uh, you you started this about an hour ago, you yeah. said? Okay. I've done some that are full size vehicles. <laughs> in my son's truck at a '95 Silverado. I did a full size Silverado. It took me 12 hours. When was that? Uh, four days ago. <laughs> you, hey, so please tell me you take pictures of this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. I just, this morning, didn't put my phone into the meter to charge and forgot it. Uh, I'll send you the video so you'll at least awesome. have this one. Did you go out here every day? I try to make it sometimes here when I can. Every day. If you see me, stop. Oh. Hi. <laughs> All right. So, so drawing since you were you know, a kid, sculpting. Um, you think you're going to stick with this? Do you like it so far? I love it. Okay, let me ask you this. This is a special situation though, because do you remember before all the big storm surges and everything, these were just like kind of regular sand dunes, but the, the one of the ways that you're able to do this is that all this erosion happened, and so you're getting access to this more solid sand. Yes. Um, it keeps getting hit with the water. And yeah, it's, and it, it's, it's deteriorating pretty fast. Yeah, what do you, th okay, let me ask you this. What do you think, what are you gonna do if if this erosion kind of like chills out for a while and you, we get back to the soft dunes, how do you think you want to continue pursuing your sculpting? I'll dig out in the wet sand. And okay. I'll pile it up, pile it up, and then I'll carve it. I've seen that. I've seen, I'm from so I'm from uh, South Pod, well Texas and really close to South Padre Island. They have sand castle competitions, and that's what they do. A friend of mine, this guy on the beach here, came up and asked me, "You want to do a competition?" I'm like, "What do you mean do a competition?" He goes, um, "San Bernardino in a couple months is going to have a competition." You want to go? I'll take care of everything. I'll pay for it, the whole trip, everything. I'm like, okay. You I'm, should, dude. Even if I don't get to win, I don't care about that. I just yeah. see the other stuff. Oh, no, yeah. It's, it's yeah. Me, that's beautiful. Yes, no, absolutely. More for like the community and camaraderie and more like uh, sharing each other's art and, and working on art together. I completely get it. I got caveman tools compared to what you got. <laughs> You're doing, I can't believe, it's totally blowing my mind. Three weeks you've been at this. It's called, okay, you've been sculpting sand for three weeks. Ever in the past, did you do any other kind of sculpting? Clay or Play-Doh or any of that oh, stuff? Uh, I was never into Play-Doh or Clay. <laughs> do you think now that you've messed with sand, do you think you would consider other sculpting mediums, like like get, trying clay or some of the other stuff? Yeah, I would love to like, do one for an automobile company because they, they sculpt everything out of clay. Yeah. That would be sick. Oh man. I think that would be the perfect job for me, honestly. <laughs> Just because I love cars. Yeah. And, and you know, if I could wow, well, have my name on a car, that would be awesome. Seeing I designed it, that'd be sick. I don't see why not, brother. Well, thanks for spending time with me, Carl. Uh, love your bike, love your carves. 
And uh, I believe conversation is rich. That's what makes me a rich man. It's not the money I have in my pocket. It's the, the conversations I have with people. You're a very wise man. I've spent. I've seen a lot of people who have all the money in the world and the poorest relationships and the shallowest of conversations. So, to me, you're the richest man uh, I might have seen today, brother. Thank you, Carl.